So now let's go over a scenario that I really believe proves how effective these joint locks are, especially a finger lock. So I'm having words with uh, Sensei Joe, and he starts pointing his finger right in my face, just like that. Now, if I think there needs to be a defense, I could do that. If I don't mind that and I just keep my hands up, I could do that as well. But since this is a locking DVD, let's see how we're going to lock him up. He points his finger at me just like that. Now you notice where I hover my hands. They're right next to his finger. If my hands are like this, well, that's no good. If my hands are back here, well, that's no good because then I got to go reach it. So my, he puts his finger in my face. I'm like, whoa, 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 okay, just, just stop for a second. I could verbally give him a directive to get his finger out of my face, but he does not listen. So I may elect to grab the finger with my iron grip, and then I'm going to apply, see my finger's already pointing towards him, apply pressure inwards, just like that, and then take him to the ground. Now let me show you uh, a trick I learned, again, from some material Wally J's that I really like. So he points the finger at me like this. Now sometimes people are flexible. So if say he's really flexible and it's not working, okay, oh boy, I still have my strikes I can still use. So you're not a one trick pony, you have at least five tricks. From here, I'm gonna push down, but then I'm gonna roll it to my chest. So he comes right to my chest. From here, I go up, and then this is where it becomes very effective. I go underneath, all right? So up here, now watch how I roll. So I'm rolling this finger, in under his armpit, and that becomes a very effective lock. Oh.